In the heart's electrical system, the SA node or sinoatrial node is the heart's original pacemaker. It routinely beats 60 to 100 beats per minute. The electricity then moves to the AV node or atrioventricular node. From there, the energy travels to the right and left ventricle via the right and left bundle branches. If energy is blocked between the SA node and the AV node, then we call this a heart block. First degree, second degree, type 1 and 2, and third degree. These blocks refer to the communication between the atrium and the ventricles of the heart. A first degree heart block and even a second degree type 1 heart block can be pretty benign findings. Whereas a second degree type 2 heart block or a third degree heart block can be lethal. If energy is blocked below the AV node, then we call this a ventricular conduction block. This kind of block can delay energy into the ventricles. We see this ventricular conduction delay on the 12 lead EKG as a widened QRS complex. On the EKG, Time equals distance, so the longer it takes for energy to move through the ventricles, the wider the QRS becomes. Try to think of it like this. A wide QRS simply means that something has happened to our patient's normal electrical system. There are patients who live for decades with ventricular conduction blocks, like a left bundle branch block, and they do very well with it. So in general, Ventricular conduction delays are not emergencies, and we will not treat them as such.